everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. This video, we're going to be painting a model, The Scout, from Nemesis the Board Game. This was on Kickstarter fairly recently. I am a backer, hopefully you are too. If you're not, and it looks interesting just from this model, and if you want to check out the game, I'll put a link in the description below to Late Pledge. So this model was picked by Shelly. She's got request rights on Patreon, and I've just shown the screenshot of the conversation. I've been on vacation. She was very respectful. She knew I didn't have much time to do it, and I definitely in no way, shape, or form forced her hand on picking that model. Mm. Anyway, let's get on with some painting. We'll start off by showing you how the model came. This is a prototype model and it looks to have had some Xenophil highlighting primer, you know, applied to it beforehand. So that's a little benefit for us. We didn't have to prime it, so it makes it a little bit easier. We'll start with Nagarath Knight by Citadel. This is very similar to the Royal Purple by Vallejo that I use. And if you like how it looks at the end, just bear in mind those colours will get you that effect. And then, as you see, Agnes just making a little appearance here. So if you hadn't already guessed, this is Benson painting. So do big up Benson at the end. Leave him a comment below. Give him a thumbs up if you do enjoy this paint job by the end. We'll just have Agnes in the corner for a little bit. As I mentioned, that this is a prototype and the artwork's a little bit difficult to tell what's going on with this model. But Benson is applying this purple to her sort of jumpsuit, her cat suit. So all of the cloth looking part of the model and her hair as well. He's then going to use rough iron, that's by the army painter. Tinny Tins, the Vallejo colour, if that's relevant. I'm afraid I don't know what the Citadel one is. But he's going to be applying this to a whole bunch of the metal on her on her person. So she's got sort of the back, the heels. She's got like heels on her boots. She's got a little backpack with some canisters on as well. Lead belches next. This is a sort of, I still think it's a light silver. I don't know if Citadel do a darker silver, but it's... It's their darker one, Mithril being the lighter. And then he's going to be applying this to all of the other metallic parts of her, her model. The model. Her model? No. Is it? Do you think this is a model based on a real female scout? So this is like her model, or do you think this, this is the female scout? I'd like to think there's a giant version of this lady somewhere in the world, and this is just a miniature model. Anyway, this is, this is for all the metallic bits, so she, the rest of her boots. So basically he did the heels to add a little bit of detail. And that's in that rough iron. And then the rest is this lead belcher. She's also got these sort of grills detailing up her pant legs, pant legs or trousers if you're in the UK. Uh, her, she's got metal, metallic arms as well, her gun. She's got this sort of frame coming over her shoulders as well. That's sort of the rest of her backpack as well. Quite, it's quite Basically, it's purple and silver, this model. Cadian Fleshtones, Benson's choice for her skin color. And it's only her fa face and like her neck which is pretty difficult to reach, but that, that's the only bit of skin on her that's showing through. Next, he's going to use Mithril Silver. As I mentioned, I feel like there's a dark and a light. There's Lead Belcher and then Mithril Silver. And again, this is to apply some detailing to the to the gun. So he's just doing it in two shades of this, the silver. So it adds you know some depth to the gun and it makes it look a little bit more realistic. He's going to move on to washing and shading the model. He's going to start with Null Oil, and that's the like black shade by Citadel. He's going to use this on all the metallic, or at least all the silver metallic parts of this model. And that black is just going to make it look a lot more realistic, a little bit tarnished, that sort of effect. And then after that, he's going to use Agrax Earth Shade. That's the sort of dark-ish brown shade by Citadel. And he's going to do the, her face in that. And also that... Um, what colour was it? Rough iron sort of crotch plate he's done and a few little bits on her chest just to give that a brown wash as it's a browner looking colour. After that he's going to move on to highlighting and Mithril Silver's out again. He's going to go painstakingly through each one of those sorts of panels on her leg. Now they are actually quite wide and this is a very small brush so he's quite easily, you know, he's making light work of that and just needs to take his time he's using the hobby holder there to grip grip it a little bit better to keep his hands from shaking you can see his left hands you know firmly sort of placed on the desk so he's got a nice grip steady grip for doing this edge highlighting of the mithril silver now i did notice while i was editing this video there's a, a, a spike in the audio track it was pretty much silent the whole time except for this little gem which i managed to pick out <laughs> Nice, Benson. That's beautiful, beautiful little humming as, as he paints along. So this may be the last time you ever hear from me again. Spencer might kill me for adding that into the video, but hopefully it was was enjoyable. I'm actually tone deaf, so it sounded really good to me. I really enjoyed it, and it, it made my editing uh, <laughs> a little bit more enjoyable having that. I mean, we all do it, right? Like, I look at my own track when, uh, 
when I'm editing it and I can see all the massive spikes where I'm just singing along to a random song on the radio. So it's a good job I edit everything and uh, remove that all for you because I cannot sing. So just while I was waffling about that, Benson was in the background painting over all those rough iron areas, highlighting it with the hash hook copper by Citadel. Then he's going to use Xerius Purple and he's going to start by dry brushing that onto the scout's hair, just adding a little bit of light purple where, where well, where the light would be hitting the top of the head and just brightening that up and making it look a little bit more realistic. Then he's going to do exactly the same with Jean Steeler Purple, but a lot lighter. There'll be less paint on the brush, but it'll also just be a lot, lot lighter. It'll be very lightly catching this, just add it, adding, brightening it up, bringing it to as realistic as he can. And then he's going to mix in white scar with that about 50-50 and then do it off camera so you can't see, but it's going to be the same. And oh, here we go. You can just see it now. And this is going to be super, super light along the very, very sort of tip or very edge, most raised part of each each strand of hair. He's just bringing out the strands in the hair, bringing that detail back in, making the hair look amazing, actually. It looks, I think that looks pretty good on camera, but it looks fantastic in real life. That was Katie and Flesh Tone just being painted back down the base color on her face, anywhere the wash settled he didn't want it to, and just all the raised parts of her face. Then he's going to use Kislev Flesh. Just go over the more raised parts, so her brow, her jawline, her nose, and her cheekbones. Just pretty standard face painting. And then Mithril Silver's out again. Just going to highlight up the gun a little bit more, catch all the edges. It's got a lot, well, it's quite a square-ish gun. It's got the stock on the back and all these bits, bitsy bits, metally bits. Well, left, right, and center, lots of rectangles. Same on her boots. There's lots and lots of square edges, so he's just going to be going round edge highlighting that in a little bit more just break brightening it up really really bringing the detail back into all those parts of the model and making it look like the light's really reflecting off the metal nagroff knight's going to get mixed in with the xerius purple about 50 50 and then he's going to go around all of her purple jumpsuit with this will be heavily watered down so he's able to blend this in quite well he didn't shade the the purple so he's used that base nagroff knight as the shaded version then he's mixed 50 50 and then he's blending it now with serious purple, all the raised bits, as normally spending spending extra time giving it special attention around her buttocks. Uh, she's also got an elbow which doesn't have metal on, so that would want highlighting more than others. And then the hardest bit here will be the thighs that you want to show light on it, but it's quite a flat surface. So just take your time blending that area. It's going to use Loven Blue. Now this isn't in the artwork, but it does add some, you know special effects and it does make this model just stand out a little bit more from just purple and silver so he's adding some light on that sort of harness that's coming over her back and on the gun as well in a couple of places mixing that then with white scar 50 50 just adding an extra bright point to each of those the sorts of lights that he's added to the weaponry and her harness then he's going to do a even more so this is very very white with a splash of blue and this is off camera <laughs> Benson, why? Benson, stop. There we go. There we go. We're back. And now you can see that he's just catching the very top edges of all those lights just to make it look as realistic as he can. A bad and blacks out. He's going to paint in some eyeballs. So he's going to get the sockets first, as, as Benson often does. He paints the whole eye socket black. Gives a nice sort of mascara look around, around the, the model's eye. And it does make the eyes pop out and look a little bit better. But how would you explain it? They just stand out that much more. I think I often miss that black step because it's just an extra me putting a brush near an eye, which is hard, hard work. But then he painted on some uh, white scar and that was for the eyeballs. And then a bad and blacks out. I mean, you can see his grip is not shifting at all. He's using the hobby holder pressed against his hand and his hand pressed against the desk. That's giving him that. Didn't, it didn't look like he was shaking at all there. So that looked absolutely fantastic work with the grip and hopefully you guys know how to do that but you want to be putting your weight on the desk with the hand that's holding the the model and that's going to give you a lot of steadier hand then it's back at me benson's fear of bases is back so i just painted on some nagraf knight around the rim of the base just to tie it to the model so you can tell which is which a little bit more easily 42 minutes it was only like two colors right a couple of extras a couple of detail colors but 42 minutes that is amazing that is that is really 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 quick and that's going to look great on the table so big up benson as i mentioned if you like this paint job i certainly will be because that looks great and i've got this game so i get to play this guy eventually and then leave shelly a thumbs up as well if you appreciate her 
air quotes picking this model for the channel. Thank you all very much for watching.